This is just going to be a short introduction to an interesting technique to create new sounds and to modify existing sounds. And I have a very boring sounding sample here. And I can put this into the sampler here in Vital and I can play it at the original pitch. I can also enable this function here and then the sample is going to be pitched up or down depending on the note I'm playing. So there's no stretching algorithm involved in this. So the sample is going to be playing at a lower speed or a higher speed, depending on the pitch I'm playing. And I'm also losing a lot of quality, especially when the sample is pitched down. So one way to make this more tonal and more playable is using Coom filters. So I'm just going to use the Coom filter down here, route the sample to this. And if you play it now, we get this kind of sound. And we can change the cutoff to get different notes. And now one way to make this playable is actually to just use the note function here and map this to the cutoff. So now depending on what kind of note we are playing, the cutoff is going to change. Maybe let's just activate the compressor here. So now this gives us a lot of possibilities to experiment. Now you can start adding the vital effects here. And you can also obviously change the sample down here. And you can also change the Coom filters down here. Each of these filters is going to give you a bit of a different sound. And you can also use the blend function up here to change the sound like this. Also input longer samples like this one. And just swap out samples and see if you get any interesting results. And one way to make this a lot cleaner is also to use an LFO on the level of the sampler here and just draw in a more plucky percussive shape like this one. And now you can just swap out samples and play around with this. Change the Coom filter here. So hopefully this inspires you to play around with this and maybe create a few new interesting sounds.